Yes, it's that time of the year, folks, where we lose one hour of our precious sleep time. We gotta get up, get ready, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm bringing you guys super quick, easy hairstyles that are so fast that take no time to do. This video is brought to you in collaboration with Claron, the originator of dry shampoos. And of course, our friend, Daylight Savings Time. So this right here is one of my favorites. This is their dry shampoo with oat milk. I love this one. The reason why, because it's without all the sulfates, parabens, sodium chloride, but it's also a very gentle formula. It's plant-based, so that means it's not going to clog my pores. This one's really great. It leaves like no residue. Just spray it everywhere where you need the dry shampoo. I actually spray this on my first day on my clean hair because it adds great texture and volume. So I just leave the dry shampoo in my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes kidding 10 to 15 seconds because it's trying to save time here just let it in there do its thing for just a little bit and then I go with my fingers and just kind of gently massage it into my hair and scalp some of my ultimate favorite hairstyles for my shorter hair especially when it's like on the third or fourth day I like to do half up hairstyles just because when my hair does get greasy it gets greasy mostly up here so the best way to hide it half up hairstyles the very first one is a really high up ponytail half up so all you're gonna do is grab hair right in front of the ear and you're just gonna bring up your hair where you want your ponytail to sit. And then just to hide the clear elastic, I will take some hair right behind the ponytail and then just start wrapping it around. You can either secure it with a topsy tail or you can just use a bobby pin like I am. Just to give my hair a little bit more volume at the crown, I'm just gonna take my teasing comb and just take little sections and just give it a quick tease right behind the ponytail. I'm just gonna tease the two sections together, the ponytail with the hair. And there you have it, a super simple hairstyle that literally takes 30 seconds to do. You can do it as high as I did or you can do a little bit farther. Obviously, whatever looks best on you. So another rendition for a half up hairstyle is going to be using hair accessories. There's different many types. I like using these kind, they're super simple. They're really easy to use. They have many different types of like styles that you can use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to divide my hair right in the middle, just part it right there. And I'm gonna grab hairs, make sure I leave like my fringe down and then just bring the hair towards the back in the middle. You can grab as little or as much hair as you want. And then I'll just go back up, just loosen up the hairs just a little bit. Get a little bit more volume on the top. And then if you want, if you don't want to keep it right in the middle with your fringe, I will just take the actual fringe, some of it, and then just move it over to the other side. And this also helps if my hair is feeling a little bit more greasy or it's not as much texture or volume, I will just flip over my fringe and it'll just give the instant volume. Since March 12th is daylight savings time, Chloron proclaimed it as National Dry Shampoo Day, which will save you the time and effort to get ready. And throughout the whole month of March, Chloron will be giving away dry shampoo on their Instagram page. So I'll have a link down in the description box below for you guys to get a chance at winning one of these. So the next half up do is obviously a messy top knot. I do this probably three to four times a week. I love them so much. I do like different variations. I'll do sometimes like braided into a top knot. I showed you guys many times, but the very most simplest one is just a regular top knot where I just grab hair and just put it up. And I usually leave majority of this hair down just because I think it looks better on this type of hair that I have. And then I try to bring it like to the crown for the top knot. Take your clear elastic or your hair tie and just go at it. So I'm gonna take it around once, second time, and then a third time, just to get it tight. And then I'm gonna have some hair left over. I'm just gonna pull apart this little top knot part, and then the, whatever hair is left, I'm just gonna wrap it around the ponytail or the clear elastic just to hide the clear elastic. And the same thing, mini bobby pin, just secure it. And then once I'm done securing the elastic, I'll just go back in and just pull it out a little bit more just to give it a little bit more volume if you want. And that's it. That's seriously my top knot. That takes probably like 10 seconds to do. And it's always super cute. The next hairstyle is for those that like a very simple textured updo. So what you're gonna do is divide your hair into three sections, a middle and then one on each side. So I divided my hair into three sections, one on each side and then one in the back in the middle. So I just clipped the, the side sections away. You can do smaller sections, you can do bigger sections. I'm doing this because we're gonna be doing three strand braid on each section and we're gonna put them together. You can do any kind of braid you want. If you know how to braid, you can intertwine hair. 
I have to do it as simple as possible because I don't got no time. Now the fun part is take apart your braids to give it a little bit more volume, texture, dimension to the entire look. So once the braids are nice and loose, let's put it together. It's really, really simple. All you're gonna do is take one side underneath and make sure the middle one is on top. Take that and secure it with a bobby pin first and then take the second one and put it right on top of the other one, keeping the middle section on top of both of them. And then to finish it off, take the middle section and place it on top of both the first and second section and just tuck it right underneath to make sure you hide the clear elastic and just secure it with the bobby pin. And now the finishing touches, just take your hair out just a little bit at the top, just to give it get a little bit more movement and volume. And then these front pieces, I'm gonna take some out as well. Just not all of them, just a little bit, just kind of frame the face. And that's it, you're done. I'm gonna keep this one nice and simple and do a Dutch braid kind of over here on the side and just right on top of the hair and we're gonna tie it off. All right, so I'm gonna grab a nice deep part and divide it into three. So let's start adding hair. So the outer section under the middle first, hold, and then add hair right to the middle. Tighten and do the same thing. Under the middle, and then add hair to the middle. And I'm gonna keep the braid nice and tight at first, so that way I can loosen it a little bit later at the end to my desired shape. And so you see this hair I'm not grabbing, I'm just grabbing hair right on top of it. That way I have some hair hanging down and then tie it off with a clear elastic. You don't want to braid all the way down, you want to still have that hair kind of cascading into the rest of the hair. All right, so this is optional. You can keep the braid nice and tight or you can go back in and pull it apart to make it really big and voluminous. Now to finish it off, instead of letting it just hang on its own, it's kind of doing this awkward thing on my head. So I'm gonna take some hair right behind the braid and I'm actually going to wrap it around the clear elastic. First of all, just to disguise it and this will also help to kind of nicely secure it to the head. And then take this the section of hair that we just wrapped around, take a bobby pin, put the hair through the bobby pin, give it a couple of twists, and then going towards like vertically up into the hair, just secure the braid. And there we have it, another super cute simple hairstyle that has texture and braids, of course. I love the two. And if all else fails, you can just do this. all done it and there we have it hope you guys enjoyed it let me know which ones are some of your favorite hairstyles that you do when you have no time to get ready I'll see you guys in the next one bye